Hey guys, today I want to talk about some uh, a new product I'm trying. It's the Runderwear, running underwear. Um, I'm not an expert on running underwear. I have really never used them. I've always been just a believer in wearing regular running shorts that have the liner and that's worked pretty well for me over the years. Um, I've been reading some of the benefits to wearing like compression shorts to cut down on chafing or uh, I know Path Projects came out where they have a, a separate inner liner from the outer shorts and people love that. Uh, I, I may try that again. It's may try that at some point. I haven't yet because I just find it kind of price pricey. Uh, the biggest thing that kind of started, I have been able to handle using regular shorts. I've had some chafing problems when it gets really hot or I'm running an ultra distance. I have found that adding my um, trail toes or sport slick or squirrel's nut butter and lubing up had worked pretty well. I just have to keep lubing up from time to time, but it, it has worked pretty well for me. Uh, where I really got kind of irritated was when it gets cold out and I have to wear uh, my long tights. Uh, they don't come with underwear. I don't like wearing them without any underwear under them. Uh, regular underwear have seams, don't work well. So I normally just wear my running shorts under them with the liner also. And then they'll kind of bunch up in the legs and I'm always pushing them down to get them uh, to go straight. So I really became intrigued by getting uh, some running underwear. Um, and there's lots of brands out there. The two, two of the more popular ones are the T8 Commando, which comes out of Hong Kong, which I've read great things about. Uh, and this Runderwear brand, which was designed in the US, I mean, designed in the UK. It's actually a UK, UK company, but they have a local presence. If you go to runderwear.com in the US, you're, you're actually gonna order it from their uh, US distributor and uh, get them in. Um, I wasn't sure what to think of them, but I decided to give them, a, give them a try. I've actually ordered two different of their styles. I have the Runderwear briefs, which are very short, and I have the Runderwear, um, the shorter boxer style. They also sell a longer one. Uh, they also have women's ones that are small or or longer like this. And then they've got um, women's brassiers and things like that. I, I can't speak to those. I haven't tried them. I don't know if they work well or not. Uh, the reviews seem to be good. The uh, advantage to these as opposed to other liners or underwear is that they uh, advertise that they are seamless, 360 degrees around. There's no seams in here. Uh, you can see a little bit where they're sewn, but they've really made it pretty smooth inside, so you really don't get chafed. Uh, they actually come with a chafe-free warranty, uh, guaranteed to say if you have them for up to 90 days, and if you get chafed, you can mail them back and get your money back. I've only had these for a few weeks. I've run in them a few times, four to six miles, and then my biggest test was this past weekend when I went to my Jackalope Jam 24-hour race, uh, I, again, I quit early in that one, but I did go for like seven hours. I covered 25 and a half miles and it was raining the whole time. Uh, I wore these underwear. I, I went with the boxer briefs. I had them underneath my tights. It was really nice. They, they felt good, but the seams were smooth and they, they felt good. Um, they didn't ride up. They didn't move around. And I actually didn't lube up. Uh, I brought a lot of lube with me because I didn't really trust that the running underwear was going to be chafe free, but I never applied any. And uh, I was out there for seven and a half hours, did my 25 and a half miles. Uh, it was raining the whole time. I got wet. I took off the tights for a while. I put on regular shorts over them. I took those off after a while, put on heavier duty tights, uh, and I never chafed, never felt a thing. So I'm very impressed with that. I'm looking forward to trying these some more. 
Uh, they are made out of something like 92% polyamide and 8% uh, elastic, elastine. Uh, when I read the T8 Commando, they're very similar. It sounds like they're 90% of polyamide and 10% elastine, so they're very similar. Uh, what I don't know is how well these uh, feel, whether they, in the summer, when it gets hot. Uh, they say the T8 Commandos are thinner and you can see through them, which might make them better for summer. I really don't know. Uh, these don't feel like they're going to be hot, but they, they are going to be a little thicker. You can't see through them, so... Uh, maybe they will be a little bit hotter. So anyway, I'm not an expert on running underwear. I don't <laughs> have a um, vested interest in any company. I'm just trying these, and so far I'm impressed with this underwear brand. Uh, I may try other brands, and I'll probably report back on those if I try them in the future. Uh, just thought I'd give you the info, see if you're interested, and I'll put a link down to Runderwear's website down below. Again, I'm not affiliated with the company, uh, just something I'm trying out. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Um, if you like my video, please consider hitting the thumbs up, the like button. If you like any more of my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And other than that, I hope you're having a great week and keep moving.